Hey everyone, this is Brett Wallace with Remax Fine Properties. Uh, just wanted to give you a little quick informal tour of one of the premier communities in Fort Bend County. Uh, we're in Greatwood, which is a community that's uh, priced about the 200,000 to actually um, 1.5 to 2 million. There's a few homes that are at that price point. Um, right now we're in the Stone Bridge and Brooks Mill section which is going to be kind of on the $200,000 to $300,000 range. A lot of two-story homes, one-story homes, a good mixture. Um, this actual section is zoned to Best Campbell Elementary. Really, really highly rated school. And there's another um, elementary school in Greatwood on site for just Greatwood residents, and that's Dickinson Elementary, which uh, we'll finish up over there towards the end of this video. Let's go look at the rec center real quick. But this is, um, you know, just a good example of what, I'd say 275,000, 300,000, maybe 350, uh, will get you in Greatwood. It is a Newland community, which is pretty popular around Fort Bend County. The developer Newland um, is also behind Telfair and uh, New Territory and a few other pretty prominent developments in the area. Um, these homes in this section, I would say were probably built around 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. So, um, yeah. It's a very nice section. Full disclosure, I actually used to live in Stonebridge. My family and I did. Oh, look at that one, honey. Look at the Halloween setup. It's beautiful. So you can obviously know what time of year we're, we're filming. It's not Easter around here. All right, let's get a quick shot of, um, so there's three rec centers, uh, three pools in Greatwood. And this one's called Pool 3. And it has, I would say, probably the most family friendly um, amenities, splash pads and the slides and the cool stuff. So let's get a quick shot in here, honey. We'll pull in since obviously it's October and no one's uh, at the pool. So we can get a quick view of it. And there are, um, so, Greatwood is a 2,050 acre golf uh, golf anchored community. It has its own golf course. There's acres of green belts, uh, lakes for fishing, miles and miles of paved hike and bike trails, neighborhood playgrounds, three pools, like I said. There's a four acre nature park, um, two competition swimming pools, sand pit volleyball at the front rec center. But this is probably, like I said, the most resort style, kind of kid-friendly splash pad. This is a pretty cool rec center right here. And as I mentioned, Best Campbell Elementary is a really highly ranked, uh, really acclaimed school. A lot of awards, and that is, it's down that way, honey. We're not gonna drive that way, we don't wanna, but Best Campbell's towards uh, down Winding Brook. Um, it's near Winding Brook East and Shadow Bend. So let's go ahead, I wanna take you through another they have like many subdivisions within the subdivision Greatwood. I think there's 29 mini subdivisions. For instance, to the right is a place called Charleston Estates, which are gonna have your $800,000 and above communities um, easily into the millions. They're very, very nice and extravagant homes. Look at that back patio, that's very nice. But yeah, that's Charleston Estates. There's about 40, 167 homes total in Greatwood. And the overall population is around 11,500, which uh, really surprised me. I didn't realize it was that much. And actually one of these houses, I think that one back in the day when I used to deliver pizzas in college, that was little Troy's house. The wanna be a baller dude. And what's funny is that, I'll just go ahead and say it was his maid so I don't get beef with little Troy but we would uh, deliver pizza there and they wouldn't tip. So that's cool. It's a little extra tidbit. Okay, cool, here's some golfers. Like I said, this is a golf uh, course centered neighborhood. This is the Shores, a very prominent section. Um, you're probably looking at prices, I'd say 550 to a million. The Estates, this is the actual most expensive, uh, priciest section in Greatwood. And you, could, uh, you can hit over two million in there. But I'd probably say that at the median price is around 100, 120 a square foot is kind of what most of the homes um, go for. Let's see, yeah, let's go this way. 
and the average build, the community started in 1989 and it wrapped up around 2008. So I'd say the median, the average year build of, of homes in this neighborhood are probably 1998, 99, 2000. And uh, average around 3,000 square feet. But obviously in these 70 and 80 foot sections, your square footage is gonna be 4,000, 5,000. But um, here's, uh, we're in the middle of the golf course. It's just very serene and it's a very nice community. I like to run over here. Yeah, who are you running from? <laughs> Greatwood is consistently ranked uh, one of the best communities to live in in all of Greater Houston. Um, taken into effect and into consideration, location, schools, um, tax rate, the um, employment level of the people, the median uh, income level of people in the neighborhood, and um, a few other factors, diversity, crime, and all that good stuff. So. Um, in location, like I said, it's it's just an amount, a great location. We're right off of Grand Parkway and Highway 59, or I-69 as it's now been renamed since it's an interstate. And that's the club at the golf course. That's the clubhouse. Um, and it is a privately run golf course, but it is open to the public. I do believe you get better uh, membership fees if you're a Greatwood resident. Don't quote me on that but it makes sense, so I'm gonna roll with it. it does have a putting green for practice and a driving range right there, so let's hope a golf ball doesn't come through the windshield. Because I'd be calling that safe life right there. Yeah, so, okay, let's wrap back around to, we'll go to the, we'll, we'll end at the front of the community where Dickinson Elementary and the big, uh, what, I, what my family loves to do is uh, the biggest park has a soccer field, has AstroTurf even, it's pretty cool. But right to the right is the feeder to go to I-69 North, which will, which is a direct shot right into Houston. So, um, like I said, you don't even have to hit any red lights, green lights, or anything to get out of Great Wood and onto the feeder and on your way to Houston, if that's where you're traveling to. So um, it's just, it's an awesome location to to get rapidly on the freeway and, and get into Houston in a hurry if you need to. Um, it was, and this used to be an ETJ, an extraterritorial jurisdiction. And in December of 2017, the city of Sugarland officially annexed it. So we went from having constables and sheriffs patrol because it was a county, uh, considered county, to now Sugarland. The Sugarland Police Department has dedicated 24 hour patrols here. Um, and also there are four, there are four unique entrances and exits to the neighborhood and they have 24 hour, um, license plate recognition and software and cameras and cool stuff at every entrance and exit. Um, there's Dickinson Elementary, another really highly um, acclaimed school and it's only for Greatwood residents. Here's the park. Um, getting back to the safety feature, the, um, it's, it's a 24 hour surveillance system and it, it feeds directly into the Sugarland PD headquarters. Um, so any license plates, if there's anything, God forbid, um, any crime, they go back to the tape and look at license plates at all the entrances and exits. And um, here's the rec center, sand pit volleyball and the competition when um, you'll see food trucks here and evenings during the school year and all summer long they have competitions here that's pretty much the competition pool and you know vehicles will be lined up all and down this road it's just very very um, family friendly community and um, the overall the tax rate for 2019 in this community is 2.41 percent oh let's show this okay we'll do one more thing this this uh this is one of our favorite streets in Great Wood. It's just a beautiful tree-lined street. This is the, the trail section. Um, these homes were built, I'd say 95, 96, 97, but this section, more than any section, has mature trees and just, it's very scenic with just tree-covered streets. Look at this, it's just beautiful. Uh, they don't call it Great Wood for nothing, folks. But um, yeah, I hope you've gotten a good sample of Great Wood and what it has to offer. 
If uh, you have any questions or comments or want me to shoot anything else in Fort Bend County, um, any other neighborhoods, please leave a comment below. And of course, you can always go to brettwallace.com and uh, look up my cell phone number, text me, call me, or message me and email me through the website. And uh, I think that's about it for Greatwood. Thank you so much for viewing. Have a great day.